he freed me. He freed you. He freed every single one of us. Everywhere I went, people said, what's going to happen to South Africa when Mandela passes? Mm. And I'd say, well, there's other incredible people in South Africa. And rather than tell people, we decided to put a project together and show people. Madiba saw the project and was uh, interested in being photographed for it, which was a huge honour for us. Sorry, Madiba, you're saying when you were in prison. I never thought I'd come out, but one day. Obviously, very nervous. They just says, Mandela, you can go home. I had moments where I thought I shouldn't be here, I shouldn't be the one doing this. Perfect. There was this concept of him looking back into the mirror, but as you can imagine, for me to get his face into the mirror, he's not going to be able to see himself. All he sees is me, which is a bit odd. Straight away I said, you know, is there anything we can do for you? And he just joked. And at that moment we all just relaxed. At 94 years of age, he's sensing that he's got five or six people in the room who are incredibly emotional, incredibly nervous. And he takes the time out to make us feel comfortable. I think the point of the way it was done for me was this metaphor of a reflection. Everywhere you look in South Africa, whether you like it or not, you see Nelson Mandela. Reflections are a double-sided concept in a funny way, in that if you reflect on him, you've also got to reflect on yourself. And to see how South Africa has had its ups and downs, obviously, over the last week, but to see the South African people come together and to hold it together. If you ever question what that legacy is, you ever question what that reflection is, what we're reflecting on, you just have to look around and you see exactly 